guys, Julie here, and it is time for your most favorite time of the day, the nightly grind at Fall Creek Gallery. Hope you guys had a great day today. I know we had a wonderfully fun and ridiculously busy and messy type of day here at the gallery, but got some pretty fun stuff done and made a lot of progress on a lot of different statues. So, we've got several clips tonight of showing us working today in the gallery getting everything together in the endless and tireless job of making you all beautiful, absolutely stunning wood statues. Because we all know, guess what? This Saturday, it's Valentine's Day. So we even got a whole bunch of little bears made up today. So those should be ready tomorrow afternoon here at the gallery. Now, we had a few questions. So I will start with the questions and then we'll get on with the clips. All right, the first question we had came from Evan down in Terre Haute, Indiana. Now, Evan wanted to know, because he saw us doing some logging yesterday, and wanted to know if we just cut down dead trees or if we cut down live or green trees. Now, the answer to that is we don't ever cut down a tree if it's still living. Now, if it meets an untimely demise by a storm, some other freak of nature, Someone hits it with a car, I don't know. But otherwise, we only cut down dead trees, which is one of the gifts that we're given is we're able to have the ability to help clean out one of our forests nearby to get a lot of your beautiful statues. So we usually do have them already dead, so we don't have the moisture issue. Now, if we do get trees that have fallen in a storm, and sometimes occasionally a few of them are still a little bit green, we do have a drying process and it all varies because as soon as you start cutting on the wood, you need to cut quick. And it's sort of a nice balance between sealing, cutting, and carving. So once we do get a statue carved, we try to seal any cracks and seal the whole statue immediately so that you guys have a beautiful statue for many, many, many years. Okay, and our next question came from Jeff out in Bakersfield, California. And Jeff wanted to know, what is the average diameter of our four to five foot wooden statues? Now, Jeff, the average diameter really ranges quite a bit from statue to statue, log to log, but I wasn't quite sure, so I did take out my tape measure. Now, when I did, I noticed that they usually ranged anywhere from 12 to 24 inches. The difference in diameter really has to do with the size, the beefiness, or the arm positioning of the statue, or if it's a punch statue, it's obviously a little more rotund than if it's just a pretty little lady holding up a tobacco leaf or something. But somewhere in between there is pretty average. And also the price of the statue also can vary with the diameter of the statue because usually the more narrow ones are slightly less expensive and the wider ones, which usually have a lot more areas to detail, are a little more pricey. I hope that answered your question. Now on with our clips. But just remember, if you have any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to put them in the comment section. And I will be more than happy to answer them tomorrow. Because I know I also had a few questions that were given to me from Mr. George Byers in Youngstown, Ohio. And I will personally let George know, I will give you a telephone call tomorrow so that I can answer those questions for you as well. I hope you have a wonderful night and we'll see you next time on the Nightly Grind.
check it out just a little bit. 